Okay. Greetings, bye guys. I want to introduce you to the Suron. Uh, we have the Light B X in the orange and black, and we have the Ultra B in the black and yellow white combination. And I'm going to just kind of give you an overview. Okay, a couple of the features on the Suron Ultra B. Let's start with, it has a motorcycle top end handlebars, motorcycle front uh, master cylinder here, um, switching and that sort of thing, speedometer. And then the other rear brake, this, so the front brake, and this is the rear brake. And these are motorcycle scale and size. So what ends up happening is they produce a lot more braking power, but you're gonna need it because the bike weighs a little more. So looking at the front wheel, you'll notice that the caliper here is motorcycle design and the front brake is too. Now the wheels, actually the diameters are the same on both bike, but they're bigger wheels on the uh, Ultra. The Ultra comes with a, a more sophisticated headlight system, and it's got high beam, low beam, it's got a running light and some other things like that. So it's got some upgrades in the electronics for sure. Now, when I say lightweight versus lightweight, what am I talking about? So the uh, Light BX, uh, the factory says 104 pounds. I think it's more like 120 pounds. And then they say the uh, Ultra B is 187 pounds. So for a beginner rider, the Light BX is clearly a better choice. Or for a smaller rider, it's a good choice. If you want to take your mom out, girlfriend out, or whatever like that, they'll be able to ride it. They'll be able to put their feet down. It's got a shorter saddle height and that sort of thing. So the Ultra has some other motorcycle features. Um, they have the long seat on here, which is good for motorcycle riding. You can move forward, move back as you need to, to adjust the weight balance on the bike. Um, it's very centrally, centrally located with the motor and the battery. This is a much bigger battery than comes in the uh, light B. And the other thing I would notice, this is probably a decent angle, these are motorcycle type forks on here. These are not mountain bike parts, they are motorcycle parts. And the same thing with the rear shock. The rear shock is a motorcycle type shock. And so it's just a lot more robust, it has a lot more strength to it. Same thing with the rear wheel, with the rear brake and the rear sprocket, both heavier duty and designed for harder off-road riding. So this is a 520 chain. It's a 420 chain on the uh, Light B. Now look at this shock here. See, it's got a uh, compression dampening adjustments on the top and the bottom of the shock, and you can see it's much more like a motorcycle system. And the, the whole bike has got a lot of features that the Light B doesn't have. For one, it has in its ignition system here, it has some controls out here where you can change the power level on the bike by just flipping a little thumb switch here. Uh, this is a shut off safety switch, start switch, but lighting switches, horns, and some other things up here. But the little computer that's on it, it can help you adjust the regen which is regeneration of power for going downhill. And what that does for you, if you're, if you're not, not familiar with that term is, the regen puts resistance on the rear wheel. So on a motorized motorcycle or a gasoline powered motorcycle, when you're coming downhill, 
it creates a little bit of drag on the rear wheel. Well, the regen is it's adjustable. You can make it so it has no drag on it or more on a scale one to four or five, something like that. But you can do a lot of changes in the computer system in here to the bike without having to change anything else, just by pressing buttons and getting it to do what you need it to do. This one also has a recharge port on here, in case you're uh, bringing along a GPS or your phone or something and want to charge that up. So you have a power port built into there. But if you look at the bike from the top here, you can see the Ultra B has um, a stance and a feel and a, of a motorcycle. It literally is electric motorcycle. They have about nine and three quarters to 10 inches of wheel travel front and rear, which is a little less than the modern enduro bike, but I think it would be plenty with the kind of riding that this bike is intended for.